It's not the best of times for Air France after employees rejected a pay deal, plunging the company into turmoil amid a wave of strikes, one the company says has cost its French brand some 300 million euros. The Air France KLM chief executive Jean-Marc Janeliak said he would resign. Janeliak said that more than half of the staff at Air France who cast a ballot voted against the pay deal. Turnout was 80.33%. Air France KLM had earlier reined in its 2018 profit and growth expectations, partly due to the effects of the strikes. Instead, it wasn't able to take advantage of a good market environment for European carriers. Air France needs to cut course to keep up with leaner rivals in Europe. Dutch sister company KLM, which has caught course, saw its profit rise in the first quarter, contrasting sharply with losses at Air France. From France to Korea, where hundreds of Korean Air employees protested in downtown Seoul, calling for the airline's chairman to step down because of the behavior of his family members. Many protesters wearing masks to hide their identity carried placards reading Cho Yang Ho out and no mercy. It's the first time in nearly 50 years for employees of the country's largest airline company to hold such a massive rally against its chairman. The South Korean airline conglomerate has faced mounting public outrage after the chairman's youngest daughter was accused of throwing a drink at people at a business meeting last month. A man busy setting up a drone, then it takes off, and it's all at a flight base in northern Beijing, where buzzing fills the sky as pilots practice takeoffs and landings ahead of their test to qualify for a license to fly drones. <laughs> drone enthusiasts in China, the world's top manufacturer of consumer unmanned aerial vehicles, are scrambling to secure licenses after the government unveiled strict regulations earlier this year amid incidents involving drones straying into the flight path of aircraft. An instructor putting students through in the classroom. Some other students making use of a simulator to practice. Ensuring that students are trained to handle drones is now critical as China tightened the screws to secure its airspace by putting into effect laws requiring civilian drones of a certain weight to be registered under real names by the end of August. All drone owners have to do the real name registration, which includes the type of drone and user's name. Once the drone is registered, it can fly safely. Away to a shop where drones are on display for sale. Some here balk at the idea of spending around $1,534 to get an official qualification, especially given uncertainty about future regulations. Because now there are restrictions on flying, we need to think about whether it is convenient to fly them when considering whether to buy a drone. If we have to go to a remote place outside of the restriction zone every time we want to fly it, it will certainly influence whether we choose. A report says more than 120,000 drones have been registered in China in comparison to 77,000 registered drone users in the United States. A tech research firm, IDC, expects China's $508 million consumer aerial photography drone market to triple in value by 2019. This is where we disembark on this edition. Thanks for watching. I'm Bukola Joe Kitsumbi.